Welcome back to Metal Heroes Review, episode number, I believe this is 37. Yep, 37. Yeah, for the first time in, good gosh, like th almost three weeks since I did my last video for this one. That's because I went through about three different anime in about three weeks. I, I just finished up the, f the first season of Ember Shadow. I would do the second season when I go through ha when I go to my stopping point. I'll do my next year, which I'll reveal that when I finish up this one. So here we're back to Spaceship Cider, and we're doing four episodes like usual. We're doing episodes thirty-one to thirty-four. Four shell ups. No, thirty-four is basically this is not filler. This is plot-driven episode. And of these four episodes, the first one. The can be bargain. Yeah, this is kind of an odd one where, like, oh, we have it where Kubukai, the great emperor, he gets a cold, so he's basically just shoots out a bunch of, of premature eggs. So, what do we do with them? Can't hatch them all at once? Like, okay, let's put them all in cans and have, have the humans grow them. And basically make them, uh, make them, make them like a monster version of Furbies. Because... When I look at these things, they look like Furbies. I get the fact Furby was kind of a 90s toy, but that's a, that's the first thing I could think of. Maybe Java has a cool one for the 80s, but that's kind of what this episode is. Uh, it's a bit of a canon episode. I would say it's more filler with this one, but it's pretty interesting. Yeah, the Great Africa basically get catch cold. So what? Alright, in the case of episode number... Uh, 32. 32 is a very good canon episode, I feel as though. Because we start out basically with this spaceship that crashes on Earth. And comes and, and what comes out of it? Two women and a baby. Yep. And this is the plot of the episode. And then there's also these five guys that come out. No, it's not the just five guys from New Japan Pro Wrestling. It's... Five guys, known as the Darkaloids, who are allies of, let's say that they're, they're affiliated with the Fuma. And the people who arrived are the Kyrians, who apparently are very powerful telepaths. Yes, who apparently cannot speak verbally for some reason, they speak telepathically. And a lot of the episode is basically Fuma basically wanting the hands of the kid, who... They own apparently all the kids named that because they're powerful. And so in order to get more powerful, they said age him up from a baby to like roughly about mid-teens. And he just goes on his own, meet, meet, meets a, a girl who plays a flu, who would say kind of fall for each other. It doesn't go much anywhere, mainly because of, well, how should I put this? Well... The main reason why this is going anywhere because basically it doesn't match with, but beyond this episode. Also, apparently, that the Amos, as they refer to my later episode, I don't know what they call these women, and, and they apparently not trying to get the space sheriffs. Like, all they wanted to the, 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 basically die is in order to protect them. And apparently, nope, they think everybody's after them. I'm like, did you not bother to read his mind? Clear your telepaths, you could do that. Nope. You're just run away from the space sheriff. You're a protector. Yes, these two were complete idiots to ignore protection from the space sheriff. The good guys. I get running from Fuma because of the bad guys, but yeah, and then they're given a monster in the episode. The monster is easily is like is like nothing compared to basic a lot of the time. So right after they deal with that, and of course the episode ends up very sad no basically him going back home to fight the fuma on his home world and then we have next two episodes where like oh it's all about basically it's called the walking puppet master yes well the whole thing in this one is to basically transform kids into puppets that's literally the plot of this episode and there's also a weird moment where Andy is basically just wandering through an area and just sees like a bunch of people who turn to puppets. That's literally the plot of the episode. Guy gets beaten. Now in the case of episode number uh, 34. 
This is a quick follow-up to, like, I think, like, episode, like, 17, I think it is, this one. Where we start off with these these uh, these three guys, where they're under, like, three guys. Like, two basically digging, one holding a flashlight. And they unearth something, and this relates to the land of Mew. And the Warrior Shider. Yep, the Warrior Shider. Which, this is going to play a role probably in the remaining episodes of the series. So, there's a picture shown to the Emperor... And he goes nuts about it. So they proceed to blow up the pyramid with the researchers inside of it. Like if Cider basically uses his 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 drill to basically get, get get him out, which he does. And like find out what what else they took out of that pyramid. And so he goes into the reason why this is going on. So it's implied this might be the tomb of the great warrior Shider. His great shape. Apparently, it's also for the land of Mew. Something was mentioned prior to this. Mm-hmm. Apparently, he was curious, but like, you know, like, go ahead and research it. And then found out though, this actually was the first Fuma colony. And also, Priest Poe is his granddaughter. Yep, found out the granddaughter. This by fact, it's a guy dressed as a woman. And can you believe at one point the guy who was who accepts UFOs and chasing women thought that this was a this was a, this, was a, this was a hot lady? Seriously, Poe, I can clearly take a look at this person. That is a guy, not a woman, despite what they claim. So Poe, and by the way, the monster is basically just not a fact in the episode. And by the way, this also is the first monster not defeated by the, the Shider Blue Flash. He's defeated by the video beam gun. He just shot him, boom, done. And then later on he fights Priest Poe, destroys the, the tablet that they're basically after. And, well, it, it's going to play a role, presumably. It's, it's like basically this is a prologue to something more. We'll find out more when time goes on, but Damn. 34, I thought was really good. I'd say of the four episodes, I'd say probably 33 has been week one. I'd say that the two really good ones are 32 and 34. But that's just my opinion. Yep. So, yeah, that's it episode of you. Okay, so please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, next up is the Comic Corner, and then I'll be back. To do work on more spaceship sh- cider. I'm getting, I'm getting. I have basically, as of right now, getting on these four episodes. I'm down from 19 down to 15 left. Okay, excuse me. Bye.